children running for cover, seniors terrified inside their own homes. This after bullets were sprayed all over an Akron neighborhood, even going into some of those houses. And tonight, police are still looking for the shooters. News 5's Bob Jones spent this day speaking with those who were caught in the crossfire. And Bob, police don't have much to go on here. Well, Rob, witnesses told police that people inside of a gold car and a silver SUV were firing shots at each other before they sped away from a Kenmore neighborhood. The bullets went flying, and that was scary for a lot of people. And when they landed, there were some close calls. This is stupidity. Stop and think of what you're doing. It's been a restless 24 hours for 76-year-old Elizabeth Butts. The grandmother heard many loud pops around 10 o'clock last night just outside of her home. She thought it was fireworks. It wasn't. And I said, oh my God, it's a bullet hole. The bullet zipped into her front siding. Luckily, it did not pierce the wall in the living room where she was sitting watching TV. And it's right where I sit in my lift chair. And if it would have come through, it, good possibility it would have hit me just about in the head. People inside two cars fired shots at each other. The barrage of bullets landing around 9th Street and Florida Avenue. Cops found a bunch of shell casings, but not the shooters. Don't care about somebody else's life hurting anybody. The shooting terrified Emma Long, who was staying at a friend's house. It was just like boom, 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 boom. And I just ducked down and I was like, oh my God, because I didn't know if they were coming in our bullets or which way. It was just, it was like a, a whole clip. Another shot blasted through a living room window of a different house. Four kids were in that room. A man living there told News 5 the kids ran for cover in the basement. It's scary after 45 years of living here that this neighborhood has become so trashy. Elizabeth can only hope the gunmen who scared the neighborhood are captured. Let them pay for what they're doing. But until then, she feels a little less secure in her own home. I'm a little afraid, you know, right here on this corner. And today we checked police records in the Kenmore section of Akron, and we found in the last year there have been 22 cases of shots fired in which someone or something was struck by a bullet. Police are now reviewing those cases to see if any of them could be connected to what happened last night. Live in Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.